Hi, this is Paul Thompson from Spitfire Audio. I'm going to walk you through adding a new mic position to your existing uh, Sable library. Um, you'll see on the left is is the um, is my current installed library. It's got the main mics and the stereo mixes. These are combined in one folder, which yours may not be yet. But I'm going to show you how to do that with the new alt mics, and it's very straightforward. You can you can combine all of these. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, copy over the script holder. Um, we'll replace the old one and we'll delete the cache file. It's always good practice to do that because you're getting the very latest version of the of the script. Just keep it up to date with each new download that you do. Um, then we're going to drag the instrument. Uh, this is my download obviously that I've just done. We're going to drag the instruments file into the root level. So that just appears here next to the other two instruments folders. And we're going to drag the samples alt mics folder into the same place, so the the file structure should stay the same. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, um, actually I won't copy that because it'll take ages. So I'm just gonna drag that from that file to there. So it's disappeared from here, and um, and it's appeared in here. So we've got a one samples folder which has the three subfolders here for the, um, and then inside that you've got all of the uh, samples for each mic perspective, and then we've got three instruments folders. We've got our new um, NKR, and then this is our main library folder that we'll be using. So, very straightforward. Um, thanks for watching. That's how you update with a new mic position. The 5.1 mics will, will be um, following these in a few days. We're just we're just kind of trying to manage the server load at the moment. So, um, but the alt mics will go live in a few hours. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.